Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to dress, how to style yourself if you have an hourglass figure. If this is you, you're pretty lucky because hourglass figures are portrayed through the media as the most desirable body shape for a woman. That is not to say that it is the best, it's just to say that that is how it tends to be seen. So today I'm going to be talking about ways that you can enhance an hourglass figure and some of these tips will also apply if you don't have an hourglass figure but you want to look like you do. When I've watched other people's videos on this topic I've noticed that a lot of them put up pictures of celebrities who have an hourglass figure and stated that those are people to look to for inspiration but the pictures that they put up are always the celebrities on the red carpet. They have necklines down to their belly buttons and very unwearable clothing. So I'm hoping that by adding my two cents into the mix and showing you some more wearable options that hopefully you will get something out of this video. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you are new here then welcome. Please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy my content. I post at least one new video every week. Okay for starters I just want to say that just because you have an hourglass figure doesn't mean that you necessarily want to enhance it. We all want to be able to dress however we want. But this video is specifically for if you do want to enhance an hourglass figure. One of the most recognizable attributes of an hourglass figure is the smaller waist in comparison to the bust, the shoulders, and the hips. That beautiful, typically curvy woman. So when we're talking about dressing for an hourglass figure, we want to accentuate those curves, we want to bring in the waist, draw the eye to that smallest part of your body, and really show off the curves. So tip number one, since you already have those beautiful curves going on, on, is to wear tight fitting clothes. When people talk about dressing to flatter your body type they often talk about the problem areas and what you want to cover up and I'm sure we all have our own opinion of our personal problem areas regardless of body type but since you have these beautiful curves why not show them off? Try a bodycon dress, anything that clings to your curves and shows off that beautiful shape or a tighter top with tailored trousers. Not everything has to be skin tight. Slim fitting trousers are still going to show off your beautiful shape without being so skin tight and uncomfortable like potentially a pair of skinny jeans. The second tip is probably the most obvious but also the main tip and the main thing that is going to help to accentuate your hourglass figure and that is to emphasize your waist. Even if you are carrying a little extra weight around your midsection, I mean aren't we all, you still have the ratio where your waist is smaller than the surrounding parts of your body. So it's smaller than your bust and your shoulders, it's smaller than your hips. And that means that even if there is a little bit of extra weight there, it doesn't look like there is. So your best bet is still something that brings you in at the waist, it draws the eye to the smallest part of your body. And there's a few different ways that you can do this depending on the pieces that you're wearing. One thing you can do is to wear high-waisted bottoms. So whether that is trousers or jeans or a skirt, anything high-waisted is going to bring the eye right up to exactly where those bottoms end on you. And if that is the smallest part of your waist, then that is what people are going to notice. But even if you are wearing something high-waisted, if you're wearing a loose top that covers it up, then it's not going to help. So the second thing you do to accentuate your waist is to tuck in your tops. And that point where the two garments meet should be the smallest part of your waist and it will be where the eye is drawn to. Another thing you can do is to add a belt. If you're wearing a dress instead, then something to look out for is a dress that either ties around the waist or one that has an elasticated waistband because again that is going to bring you in, it's going to emphasize your small waist and it's going to really emphasize the hourglass shape that you have. You may have noticed from my previous videos that most of the dresses that I wear have a tie waist and I think that is because the hourglass shape is the most coveted so a lot of clothing is actually tailored to make you look like you have an hourglass figure even if you don't necessarily. By putting a tie around the waist and really cinching in that waistline it's going to give you the illusion of a smaller waist in comparison to the rest of your body even if that's not necessarily your natural shape. One thing that I do like to do if my dresses don't have a tie that comes with them or if they don't even cinch at the waistline is to add a belt. This is something super easy that you can do with any outfit. I put it on top of flowy dresses that perhaps don't have as much shape as I would like. I also do it to cinch in trousers and jeans that don't come in as much as I want at the waistline. Hourglass girls out there, you probably understand trying to find the perfect fitting pair of jeans is a struggle. I have done a whole video on how to find the right pair of jeans for you. I will link it up here as well as in the description box. You can check that out if you want or need to. I feel like shops are getting a little bit better now. It's getting slightly easier to find a pair of jeans that fits, but for a long time and for the most part still shops 
have jeans that are more straight. So from the hips they go straight up and if you have an hourglass figure you need from the hips you need it to go in to your waist so that you don't have a big gaping gap around your back. But if you have jeans that you love but don't fit you perfectly then adding a belt around the waist is going to help bring them in and keep that consistent hourglass figure. Alright so there are lots of different ways that we can bring the attention to our waist but what else can you do? How else can you dress if you have an hourglass figure? So tip number three is to wear top with a V neckline. And there's a couple of reasons that this looks particularly nice on hourglass figures. One of the reasons is that generally we have a larger bust to waist ratio, so drawing the attention with a point into your cleavage is kind of flattering. And the other reason is that that V neckline kind of mimics the shape of your shoulders to your waist. So your shoulders being a bit wider and then you taper into your waist, the V neckline is exactly the same, so you kind of have those two almost parallel lines which just play off each other and mimic each other. The fourth and final tip that I have today is flowy bottoms. I talked earlier in the video that along with dressing for body shapes people often talk about covering up parts of our body that we're not so happy with. For an hourglass figure you do have the wider hips, the larger butt, and I feel like along with that comes larger thighs, which you may be happy with and if you are then go you, but I also feel like some of us may want to cover that up a little bit. So having something that is flowy on the bottom is going to really help to disguise that. Something that comes in at the waist, skims over your hips and your bottom, but then flows over our legs. That is going to be super flattering if you're not super happy with your legs. It's going to keep them completely covered up. Remember guys, you do not have to dress for the body type that you have. These were just some tips if you really are wanting to accentuate what you have. But I still say, wear whatever you want to wear, just go for it. Sometimes I dress using all the tips that I just gave you and sometimes I go completely rogue and wear things that completely cover up my shape. It just depends how you're feeling each day. I hope you did find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye! A huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me financially. If you also feel like you would like to support me financially, I always have the link in my description box down below.